Have you ever been building a section in Divi and realized that you need that exact same section on another page or maybe multiple pages? Thankfully, Divi provides a very powerful feature with the Divi library, which lets you copy elements, sections, and entire pages around your site. You can even mark an element or section as global so that when you make changes to it in one spot, it will update everywhere else on your website, such as for buttons you want to keep consistent, graphical elements, marketing elements, etc. It's a very powerful feature. Let's show you all those scenarios right now. So first we're going to go with copying a section. I've got a page here and another page over here. And I like this section here with this colored swoosh and this box, the button, the background, and this is a row here. We can apply this to a section as well, but we'll start with a row. And so if we hit the three dots, we can hit save to library. We can also hit the year and those three dots and hit save to library there as well. And we will go ahead and give this a name of AI row. And we'll skip the save as global for now. That will come into play later. And then I've already created a category here called AI. That's just to help me group my elements in the Divi library, which we'll see in a second. You can also create a tag if you want, if you uh, have an application for that. So we save it to the library and that saves quite fast. You can find your library uh, on your WordPress dashboard, Divi and Divi library. If we refresh that, We'll see our AI row there, type row, the data was published, if it's global or not, any tags you applied, categories you sifted it into. And then if you wanted to, you could even edit that uh, right from here. If you saved it and then made a mistake, if you wanted a different image here, uh, we could go in and swap this image ahead of time, which why not? We'll do that, put a different image there so that we can fix our mistake before we paste it onto the next page. That is now saved. We'll just put that back at the theme library. And then if we go over to our new page over here, we'll refresh it. That way we had the latest changes available to us. And sometimes Divi does that double refresh. We'll just put that row right after this one here. So if we go add, instead of choosing one of these row layouts, we'll choose add from library. And AI row is available right there. So we'll choose it, hit use this row. You can also do a last minute Divi edit right here. And there we go. A perfect carbon copy of the row over here is now available on this page. And we can go ahead and hit save to lock in that change. And now we can use that on this page however we need. Any changes we make here will not affect the one on the original page. But if we did want that to be the case, say with this whole section here, we could do the same thing. Hit the three dots, save to library. We'll call this AI section. But this time we're going to hit save as global put in the AI category for organization, save to library. And now when we're over, first off, you'll see this turns to this lime green right away, showing that this is a global section. So any changes we make here will apply to the other page and anywhere else we use this section. And so we'll go over here and we'll refresh again. So we make sure it knows what is available in the Divi library. And we'll scroll down to the edge of this section and say, add new section. I will choose add from library. AI section is available. We can see it's a global section. Use this section. And here it is also in the lime green variety. So we'll go ahead and save that. And then just to show this works uh, bi-directional from anywhere, we'll edit it here and then we'll see the change over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and clone this column. We'll have two code generation columns and I'm gonna give this one generations exclamation point and we'll go ahead and save that. Once we get the check mark, we'll go back to this tab and refresh, reload. And there we are. Now we see our double section, code generations, and it's still that lime green because we made it a global section. So this is super useful, especially if you have like a button like this, where you want this uh, gradient effect uh, to apply to all the buttons used around your site. You could apply this, save this single element to uh, the library, it's the module library. Uh, you could save it as global, put it in a category, use that however you need to. The last thing we're going to show is the ability to copy entire page layouts between pages. So if we hit our three dots here, there's this little uh, sort of circle with an arrow button into it, and that is the save to library. So this will save the entire page layout into your Divi library. So we'll call it AI page. Notice there is no global option. You can't have global page layouts just because there's so much going on. So it's sort of a, a one-time copy paste if you need to uh, move a section or layout uh, or rather a group of sections and layouts into an entire page. 
Uh, you can even break out what's on this page and save them individually. It'll automatically save all the modules, rows, and sections for you. We won't do that for this one. And we'll put it in that category and save to library. And then on example three, we'll refresh the page. Let's say we realized that we just wanted everything that was on that first page instead of going section and row and element at a time. We would hit the three dots and we hit this plus button here. And we can either grab a pre-made layout and swap out the whole thing, grab an existing page uh, just directly from that page, or go to our saved layouts. And here's our AI page right here. And if we choose that, we'll check the box, replace existing content, use this layout, and that'll swap everything on this page with what we just put in the library. And boom, now they are carbon copies of each other, one-to-one, -one, everything's exactly the same. We'll save that, lock in those changes, and do what we need to do. And if we go back to our Divi library here and refresh it, we'll see all the things we've been saving here. This is a duplicate row that I created because uh, I forgot to uh, properly save the first one. And uh, we can also go into any of these, including the page. We can edit it in this block editor, or we can hit build on the front end in the top left and use the more familiar uh, front end editor to make any changes we need to that library and say, you know, Divi AI, save that. And now whenever you use that layout, that will take effect on all the pages. That's all for now. If you have any comments or questions, please add them in the comment section below. And please subscribe to the Websites Made Simple channel so we can bring you more tips like these. And hope you have an awesome day.